shall we sit over there? That's fine. Over here is better, I think. Come. Welcome. Would you like some menus? Yes. Uh, so what do you have that we could just snack on? Like hamburger, sausages, fries, and so on? Just bring us something like that. Okay. I'll go ahead and put in that order for you. Thanks. What's wrong with you? I want to go back to Istanbul. Baby, I said we'll go back when my work's done. I want to go back to Istanbul now. <laughs> I haven't seen Murat for days. And I'm sure that he must be feeling so abandoned. We've never been apart this long since he was born. Don't cry like that. Everyone will think that I'm making you cry about something. Okay. Call him. Hear his voice. It'll calm you down. Not on the cell phone. He'll feel even more sad if he hears me. Uh, we'll be back in just two days. Please don't ruin the time that we have. must have been waiting in the restaurant late. They're not at the restaurant or at home. Where are they? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Why do we care where they are? I wonder if something happened to Murat. Oh, come on. But what if they took him to the hospital because of something bad? You're really pessimistic now. Why do you make all this up? Where would they go with a child at this hour? They're not home. They couldn't take care of him and maybe he became sick. Maybe something happened to him. Oh, we have got to work on you. Sally, I need to call Rami. Well, I'm on to you now. The boy is only a reason to hear Rami's voice. That is not true. Yeah, when I told you to call him, you said you didn't want to. But now you just want to be sad. Well, I don't care. I'm worried about my child. Come on, he's fine. Do what you want. Hello? What happened to Murat? Nothing. Tell me the truth. What happened? Everything is fine. Why don't you answer my phone calls? Are you the one who has been calling us but not saying anything? You disturb us without caring. Give the phone to Murat and let me talk. How dare you call us? How dare you call us so late at night? Do you have anything to say to him? Please give him to me. I really miss his voice, please. I can't. He's asleep. It's mother. Don't lie to me. I called, and you're not at home. Because we're in Izmir. They called, Sister Maryam and me, and we had to testify. They also called you, but you didn't help. You just live in your own world. And don't think of anyone but yourself now, anyone. Give the phone to Murat. We don't think about you anymore. Now you stop bothering us. I told you to give the phone to Murat. And I said I cannot. For Allah's sake, Rami. I miss him so much. Let me hear him, Rami. Let me hear his voice. I was so afraid when I didn't hear from you at all. Why didn't you call him before? He was waiting. And why did you decide to call now? For Allah's sake, I'm begging you now. Rami, let me hear. 
hear his voice. Do you want your mother? Mother? How are you doing, my precious? Mother, where are you? I'm with your grandma. I'm in Antalya to visit her. Why didn't you take me there with you? She's sick, my darling. She's sick, that's why. You're lying to me. You abandoned us again. Do they all tell you that I did that? No one said anything. I'm worried about you. Well, don't. As soon as I can manage, I'm coming to get you, okay? What if you don't, Mother? <laughs> mother! <laughs> mother, don't cry. No, oh, I miss you so much. Please don't cry, Mother. Enough. Stop crying. You're upsetting the child. Rami, I'm not done talking yet. Please give him back the phone. Come on. Put him back on, please. He's tired and has to sleep. You'll talk later. Later. But you won't answer my calls. You won't let me talk to him. I will let you. I will let you. All right? Have a good night. <laughs> now go to sleep. Close your eyes and sleep. Shall I lie by you? Is he okay? You heard his voice, so why are you still crying? Where are they now? They went to Izmir. They're having a holiday. And look, you're still in mourning. What holiday is that? That's not it. They were called to the solicitor. To the solicitor? What for? My sister-in-law has a case. That's why. What is the case? It's a very long story. Mukherjee, just tell me. No, come on. Is it about her heritage? Anyway, it's not my problem. You called him knowing that you'll be much worse if you heard him. What can I do? You don't listen to me. Sally, this won't work. I can't be happy I got rid of Rami. And I can't feel happy that I'm with you. I only think of Murat. Don't tell me that you would go back. I can't do that. And I can't stay here. I can't survive without my Marat. Would you separate me from him? He's just a baby, and I know he misses me. He's a sad child. I cannot bear all this guilt. We should just go back and pick him up in the morning. Can't we just bring him here and then he can be with us? Did you just hear what I said? Okay, we will take care of it. Well, he's your son too. I told you, okay? Look. I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. I don't want to go out. Let's order it to our room. And don't be so negative. It gets old. You should move on. You can change your mood. Go and wash your face and behave yourself now. It's all up to you. Mukheriz? Mukheriz, are you okay? What is going on, Mukheriz? Mukheriz, why aren't you answering me? Leave me alone. I'm really sick. What is it? Do you think you ate something? Pregnant, Sully. Oh, no way. I know my own body. I was the same with my first one. You'll see, I'm pregnant. Your mind is playing tricks on you, Mukadiz. How long have we been together now? Are you kidding me, woman? What pregnancy? Are you mad? And did I say that it was yours, Sully? Your husband? <laughs> 